No masterpiece. Hey guys. <laughs> Y'all, this your girl Latrice, and I am here in the kitchen, guys. Yes, in the kitchen again. Yes, guys. So today I am going to make uh cabbage steaks. I think this is what you call it. I'm gonna make cabbage steaks, all right, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. All right, so I got a cabbage. Y'all, it's been in the refrigerator for about a week. All right, so I got a cabbage and the seasoning, the uh, everything, everything. So we're going to go ahead and get ready. I have never made cabbage steak, never had it, but I'm trying to be on this health kick. So I'm trying to find new recipes, different things to eat so that I can continue on the health kick. I'm trying, trying, trying. Y'all pray for your girl. All right, I am trying, guys. I'm trying. So um, I said that I was gonna go ahead and go back pescatarian and I supposed to start, all right? So every day I supposed to start, all right? I be trying, I be half pesc pescatarian, all right? So in my cup, guys, I have red velvet coffee. Amazing. So that kind of coffee is just seasonal. So you have to stock up and guess what? I did not. So I think I have like three or four of them left. All right. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and get ready to uh, cut these down and get my cookie sheet ready and all of that. And um, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer to the cookie sheet. All right. So here's the cookie sheet. I have it washed off and everything. Now, I'm supposed to put four paper on the cookie sheet. And I just have a normal size uh, great value uh, far from Walmart. Okay. I don't know how much it was, but I think it's been here a minute. Like, since, probably since uh, Christmas when the family came over for Christmas. All right. So we're supposed to put this on there. All right. And here is the uh, cutting board. This is a very nice cutting board. I got it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. All right. I love, love, love it. It's awesome. All right. So let's get the cabbage ready. So we're gonna try to cut this. I'm not a real chef, y'all, so. Oh, here's the hard part down here. He had a real knife, I don't know what I got. I must not have a real knife, right? All right. Hold on. Y'all gonna say, Pink, you need a new knife. That's what I need to buy myself for my birthday, y'all. There we go. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're pretty big too, guys. All right, we still got cabbage going. Let me figure this out, guys. All right, so we got four of them on now, and we got one left, all right? So, and ain't nothing I can do with that because I ain't got nowhere to put it, so I'm gonna cut this 
and uh, cook it. All right. Before you start the whole process, guys, you have to go ahead and wash it, let your uh, your cabbage first, okay? Y'all probably say, did she wash it? Yes. All right. So, let me show y'all what we got. Where my towel? Oh, it's over there. All right, let me show you what we got. All right, we got four. They look pretty good to me. All righty. Now, I'm going to get the, uh, the butter and the seasoning and stuff and uh, get ready to season it. So, we have the uh, margarine here. And since we have four things, uh, four steaks there, we got to put butter on it. All right. So I use two of a heaping spoon of these tablespoons here, okay? And when I melt it, I'm gonna put some of uh, uh, the uh, minced garlic on it. All right, guys, so I melted the butter. He had a little baster, I guess is what you call it, a little paintbrush thingy. I don't have one of those. And also, he used, uh, uh, what you call it, paprika, but I'm allergic to paprika. So, we're going to put in some other stuff instead of the paprika, okay? And he kick it for 45 minutes. So, I think it's going to be pretty good. Looking for something different to do to eat. Because, you know, when you try to eat a little healthier or just change any habit, guys, things become like, that's all you can eat. That's all you can eat. You can't do nothing different. So I've been looking up different recipes so I can try some different things. I put some... Um, garlic inside the butter so it can melt inside of there and then i'll put some season on top in just a second and drinking coffee at the same time all right looks good let's get all the garlic out Right. So we're gonna put some onion powder on it. And he says it cooked 45 minutes. So 35 minutes, you're going to stop it and put cheese on it if you want to. I had a little drop of basil left, so I'm going to add that to it. Just a little drop. Give it a little color, I guess. Some kind of something. Mm-hmm. All right, let's put some garlic powder on it. With garlic powder. And put a little complete seasoning on it. I love, love, love this seasoning, guys. This season smells good. It make you think you're a chef if you're not, because it smells so good. All right. And 
I want to put some of this here on here. It's chili pepper, parsley, and garlic. A little bit because it's going to be a little peppery. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven for 35 minutes and then we're gonna put cheese on it and uh, for the next 10 minutes and then I cannot wait for you to see the results. All right, so here is the, the rest of it that I couldn't fit, couldn't make steaks out of. We're gonna try it with the chicken broth, all right? So we have chicken broth here and I'm gonna he said steam it, boil it. I'm not sure what he said, but we finna put chicken broth in here and move on. So I got it open and I'm gonna pull the whole thing in here. Or should I? I don't know. It's really don't look like it's that much, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in there, guys. All right, I'm gonna put a little season in it, and then I'm gonna clean up my mess. Put it on the fire, put some seasoning in it, and I'll be back. So I wanted to show you guys the seasoning that I put on there, and uh, see if you can see it real good, all right? And I'm gonna put the lid on it, and put it on to uh, simmer or whatever you call it until it's done. And then we're going to see what that's all about. I've never cooked it in chicken broth before. All right. I took it out the oven. And I'm going to let you see it. It's been uh, 35 minutes. Looks good. Smells good. Everything. All right. So I'm going to put some cheese on two of them because I've never had uh cheese on cabbage before all right so i'm just gonna put it on two of them just in case you just never know i might not like it and then it might really be good guys so i'm excited about that and this is the fiesta blend cheese from walmart so you're gonna put it uh put the cheese on there then you put it back in the oven for uh 10 more minutes. Oh, until the cheese melts. How about that? All right. It looks really good. For some reason, my camera won't act right. It won't go down. So I'm gonna show y'all in just a second. So I'm putting cheese on two of them. All right. Then we're gonna put it back in the oven. It looks like it's gonna be good. I cannot wait, all right? All right, so we're gonna go back in the oven for 10 minutes and we'll be back. And here is the cabbage that's cooking in the pot with the chicken, chicken stock or uh, whatever you wanna call it chicken broth so it's looking good guys it's looking good all right i just want you guys to see that it is cooking as well all right guys it's been 10 minutes uh woo child wait a minute hold up i need that y'all see it in the oven huh that's too much on me too much on me too much on me Hope y'all ain't looking at my booty. Look at this, she just say and do anything. What? All right, wait, wait. Let me close the oven, guys. Hold on. It's 
give me a fork and a plate. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm holding it up to you guys so y'all can see it again. The one with the cheese looked the best, just because I like cheese, but I ain't never had cabbage and cheese, though. Here it is, close up. Ooh, child, yes. Okay. So, let's put it in the plate and see. I'm gonna cut it and try to cut it in half. Okay, so, I got half with the cheese and half a not. So, me and Tanya uh, did half and half. I like it. Which one you like, the cheese? I don't taste the cheese. This is the one with the cheese I'm tasting first. Let me try the cheese now. It tastes good. It tastes like cabbage, but it's more flavorful this way than pollen. It's more flavorful? Mm -hmm. Than pollen? It. Yeah. And I don't think you can overcook it. You know, like some cabbage be overcooked. Now, what I don't like is that big hunk of thing that keeps it, holds it together, the core. Oh, yeah. That holds it together, but it has to be there. Yeah, it's going to come loose if you take the core off. So, here is the one with cheese. I think it's your own preference. I'm thinking it'd be something different to, uh, since I'm trying not to eat, you know, whatever. This the one with cheese. I think I need to heat up a piece of cone for you. Mm-hmm. I think I like it plain better. I'm just old. I love it. I like it. I love the flavor of the cabbage head, though. Mm-hmm. I can keep the flavor. I like both. I like both. I like cheese, so I would say I like the cheese better, but I just like cheese. I like both of them. The other one is still cooking over there. We're going to taste that one as soon as it gets done. All right? Yes, the cabbage have more flavor. You can even taste the cabbage itself more. Yeah. yeah. Even though it got seasoning on it, but you can still taste the cabbage itself. This is a thumbs up, guys. I love it. Love it. Love it. So we'll be back to taste the cabbage that's cooking in the chicken broth. All right, guys. So here is the cabbage cooked in chicken broth. So it's steamed or whatever. This is how it looks. I just got out the pot. You see the little steam, the smoke coming out of there? Baby! And when I lifted the lid, it smelled simply amazing. All right? So we're going to go ahead and taste this. I actually just, just got it out. All right? Let me try to make me burn my lips. So today was two cabbage recipes in one. Mm. Oh yeah, it gave it a real good flavor. Real good flavor. Oh yes. I love it. I love this. This is good. So try it guys. The uh, cabbage cooked in chicken broth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So all I did was cook it uh, in the chicken broth. I put season in it. And uh, it's really good. Guys, this is amazing. I love both of the recipes that we tried today. I love, love, love it. And I will be cooking them again. All right? Yes. Now, this is a recipe for a healthier life. Amen? Yes, guys. I am so excited to share this with you guys. I hope you guys share out the video. Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to go on this journey of having a healthy life as well, 
All right, guys, my hair all over my head, but that's how it is when you cook, right? You cook hard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, guys, I love, love, love you, and I love you for watching. Bye.